go, 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 go. I can subscribe. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? Now, while we're in garrison, you should be using the 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 peacetime nine line. Um, while you're downrange. putting this in our nose, right? That's this is job. going in your nose. You have an unconscious casualty, um, no facial trauma, all right? Uh, you're gonna drop an MPA. You can also drop this in a, in a conscious casualty as long as they have no face, head trauma, okay? Can you get on the table? Yeah. Or are you gonna hold it while you do it? Yeah. So boom, get it nice and lubed up. Again, bevel towards the septum. You're gonna ask your patient to swallow if he's conscious. You don't wanna plug up the hole, so it's it's effective, it's not coming out, but you wanna add a little tape just in case. So, boom, tongue's not gonna block it. Open your mouth. Oh, <laughs> no, okay, good. So these ones um, are a little less likely to, uh, to actually slide in and out, but. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that. You can, you can breathe, all right? Yeah, no, yeah, sure, I can breathe. <laughs> out of one nostril. <laughs> Yourself. All right, Sergeant Capers. What are you gonna do for me today? I'm gonna save your life. All right. Oh, so I got a wound in my armpit. You do. It's so bad. We're gonna pack an insight. I wish I would have wore the deodorant. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, this is not supposed to be pleasant. I think the armpit's pretty good though. Oh, you move, you move it. Sorry. All right, neck injury. Neck, neck injury next. Forward, don't let him fall. Oh, Jesus. Oh, so you shouldn't fall out of this when you have him in the skid. Should, I shouldn't. Right. <laughs> you should have a tight seat going. Huh? You got some? I, I hate you. <laughs> Listen up his chest, we'll let him out from here. Uh, so um, we're actually been going to the Dragon Layer right now. We've been uh, doing the uh, CLS class all this week. This is actually test day. I'm actually part of the last group. I had to do a PT test this morning. Uh, I got my GoPro here. Hopefully it won't get in the uh, the way. Uh, it's gonna get pretty messy. It's gonna get pretty loud. I have no clue what I'm walking into. I've been in uh, scenarios like this before, and sometimes it's like pitch black. You can't see anything, but you will hear something. I guarantee it. I'm gonna test my combat lifesaver skills. And uh, hopefully I save a couple dummies, so uh, stay tuned. Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. Go, 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 Yeah. 
Alright, let's check. Check my blood. Here, start again. Check in for destroying coming out of the right side. Blood is right side. Protect your breathing. Alright. Take the wound. There's no one. Here we go. All right. Check to see if he's breathing. Is there an uneven fall on his chest? Equal rise fall. So it's good. Good, good, good. All right, all here. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're gonna, uh, do a direct on uh, contact. So get another tourniquet. Yes. Move down, but don't uh, don't tighten it again. Just loosen it down to keep it up there just in case you need it. You're gonna pull the needle out. Leave the thread in. All right, I'm gonna take this breathing. Uh, check this wound. Good. But right now he's uh, stable. Come on, come on. Yeah, ready? I'm gonna count it. One, two, three. Go through it yet? I did. That is, it's intense. I'm not gonna lie. It's really intense. There's noise and you like your heart is pounding. You're like, oh my god! Have you ever been doing something like this before? So my last one was like basic, where you just go through like light scenario. So this is like a ten times step up. But it was still fun. It's though. like that on steroids. Yeah, it's, it's definitely fun though. I would definitely do it again. Henry Gunn, back uh, with you. I just went through the Dragon Lair. I gotta say, it's intense, it's fun, but it's one of the best trainings you can do because it's a, it's a pretty real situation and it's combat lifesaver, so it's my job is to try to save lives, especially when you're in those situations. Now, it's very rare that uh, a lot of people get put in that situation, but you never know. Not even you know in the army or in combat, but actually out here on the streets, no matter what, who you who you are, this type of training is beneficial. And I've been through this, this uh, class before as a specialist, and I saw some of the privates uh, there that reminded me a lot of how I was. They get nervous and they don't want to react, or uh, they're just you know, kind of second-guessing themselves. And that's why it's good to have the type of training, because you want to get rid of that second-guess. You want to React, you don't want to hesitate. Time is important. Uh, I wanted to make this video just a little bit longer and I wanted to have that uh, first person aspect because I wanted you guys to kind of see what some of our soldiers go through. Uh, it's intense and it's, it's purposeful for that. Um, I, I, just, I just really had a great time and I hope you guys did as well. Stay tuned for more videos like this because I'm going to try to tape as much as I can uh, of the stuff that I do when it comes to the army as well as just some of my creative stuff. Uh, if you guys know the story time, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. All the good stuff coming to you. I'm out. <laughs>